Hey y'all, so sometimes when I do a postural analysis on somebody, they'll look at this and they'll go, oh my gosh, Albert, that's a whole lot of lines and arrows. Like I must be really messed up. But no, not at all. So this particular client today, she, um, all of her devi deviations are actually in line with each other. Um, it's a lot harder when you have a, a postural deviation that doesn't make sense because then you're like looking for an outlaw. You're looking for this one guy that's not doing his job, that's throwing everybody else out of whack. But this particular client, all of her deviations were ones that matched and made sense to how we naturally use those muscles in relationship to gait. So for instance, so let's say um, her pelvis. Her pelvis is rotated to the right, but her trunk is rotated to the left. And the reason being is because we don't walk like this, right? So we don't want to see the same side because we don't walk like this. We walk opposite arm, opposite leg. So because we do that, we would have rotation to one, rotation to the other, right? So her trunk being rotated to the left, if I take, I'm going to like try to line it up here, right? So if I, if this is neutral, this is straight. So if I take, let's say the pelvis, and I rotate it to the right, even though this one didn't move, in relationship to each other, it's rotated to the left. So for instance, if it were um, same story, if the pelvis hadn't moved, but maybe the trunk was the one that was the culprit, which actually in her case, her trunk is the culprit. So let's say it goes like this, pelvis didn't move, but the trunk is still rotated. And so it's the relationship. So having a lot of arrows is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it can mean that it's actually just, hey, this is a natural occurrence that occurs in the body because of how we walk and even her head, right? She goes, zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh, sorry. The other way, zoop, zoop, zoop. And it's because her head, again, is coming back to that correction because if her trunk, or sorry, yeah, if her trunk is rotated to the left, then her head's not going to stay this way even though she's walking in a straight line. Her head's going to compensate and it's going because she's going to walk in a straight line. So anyway, it was fun. Yay!